Praise God. We give God all the glory. Papa, may your name alone be exalted in a special way. We pray that you have your way. Papa, speak to us through your word and let us understand you better. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Brethren, we pray that the Holy Spirit himself will take control. And then we pray also for the nations of the world. That the Holy Spirit himself will bring peace into all nations. In Jesus' mighty name we pray with us given. Amen. Brethren in the Lord, let us read Psalm 49, 6 to 13. Psalm 49, 6 to 13. They trust in their, their wealth and boast of great riches, yet they cannot redeem themselves from death by paying a ransom to God. Hallelujah. So, money cannot take away death and no one can pay God for a ransom. Hallelujah. He is God all by himself. He is God all by himself. And he continues to say that yet they cannot redeem themselves from death by paying a ransom to God. Redemption does not come to so easily for no one can ever pay enough to live forever and never see the grave. So men are bound to die. We will not live in this, this world till the end. So the Bible is drawing attention to it that Redemption does not come so easily. Hallelujah. No one can pay God. No one can pay God. So he or she can live for long. There's no way. Those who are wise must finally die, just like the foolish and senseless, leaving all their wealth behind. The grave is their eternal home, where they will stay forever. They may name their estates after themselves but their fame will not last they will die just like animals this is the fate of fools though they are remembered as being wise hallelujah so we see here that all the things that we are busily struggling for busily looking for in life will definitely leave them behind one day and the bible is telling us that no one can bribe god to live forever or to live for long god is god by himself and so he says that if we are not wise we'll also it says sorry it says that even the wise and the foolish will all be in the grave hallelujah and so we need to be very careful the way we do our things we have to please the lord so that the lord himself will protect us the lord himself will guide us the lord himself will take us from any trap of the enemy that will bring death into our lives premature death we counsel in the mighty name of jesus christ and we pray spirit of god that you take absolute control have your way, speak to us, and then fight for us. Hallelujah. Brethren in the Lord, the Lord will never, never leave us nor forsake us. So we also need to sit under his feet, just as Mary did. And the Bible says that this is the fate of fools, though they are remembered as being wise. And so people see that we are wise. People look at the outward things, but God looks inside. And so God is telling us that we should not be like the foolish who always depend on their own doings. The Lord is ready to help us overcome in every aspect of our lives so that we'll move from one level to another level in the faith may the lord bless us all even as we meditate upon his word that we cannot buy redemption or salvation with money god bless you share the word subscribe if you have not 
God bless you if you have already subscribed. God bless you if you are now coming to subscribe. God bless you in Jesus' mighty name. And if Jesus does not come today, we'll meet tomorrow on the line. If he comes, all the better. Have a fruitful day. And may God bless you and keep you in Jesus' mighty name. Amen and amen.